While GnRH agonists have been the mainstay of treatment, the development of GnRH antagonists have really changed, we think, the cardiovascular uh, milieu. Uh, Peter Albertson, in a very well-received article a number of years ago, actually looked at patients who were treated with a GnRH antagonist and actually found that the absolute risk of cardiovascular events was markedly reduced compared with those patients who had received a GnRH agonist. So now that opens the question of really how do we circumvent this problem with cardiovascular risk. And what we're again talking about is the risk of stroke, a uh, patient who needs to go for coronary angioplasty, patient who may need to uh, undergo a bypass. Uh, all are major issues for patients. And, uh, you know, will patients develop worsening diabetes? Some people do. Will they have greater problems with hypertension? Some people do, but it's not across the board. So how do we best address it? The data is very tantalizing. It's tantalizing in the sense that if we have a means of really controlling the risk that a patient will have a major cardiovascular event, a heart attack, a stroke, et cetera, then we need to implement that medication. And so to address that, there is a 900 patient randomized phase three touch study that is largely taking place in Europe and in some centers in the United States called the PRONOUNCED trial. As noted, it's randomized and it is looking at patients who have pre-existing cardiovascular disease as ascertained by a really a panel of, of tests that involve a major cardiac workup. Uh, patients are randomized to receive either monthly Lupron or Luprolide for approximately six months versus monthly Degorelix or a GnRH antagonist, otherwise known as Firmagon. The goal here is to really determine are you finding a difference in these major cardiovascular events. Now what needs to be really underscored here is this is not a urology trial. This is the first prospective, not retrospective, not a meta-analysis, not a registry trial, the first prospective trial that actually will look at the major cardiovascular events that can occur if you're on a GnRH antagonist or agonist. The duration of the study is roughly six months with the option to maintain the patient on for an additional 12 months or per MD discretion. While this is not a urology trial, of course, it is a, cardio, a cardiology trial, and I'm, uh, I uh, am working with Dr. Matthew, Matthew Rowe and Dr. Um, uh, Chiara Maloney at Duke University, who are the co-investigators on this trial, and they are the cardiologists who really oversee all aspects of the trial. What's also very important, and it's first in, other, in two other objectives, is that in addition to being a cardiovascular trial, it's the first trial to prospectively look at inflammatory cytokines and other markers, potentially biomarkers, of cardiovascular risk, and that could include subsets of troponins uh, as well. And also, I think more importantly from the oncologist standpoint, is this is the first one that will look at the effects prospectively of either an antagonist or an agonist on the immune system and immune populations. You know, many of us have always wondered when we're developing clinical trials with regard to immunotherapies, we're dealing with much more advanced patients. In fact, most of our patients are older. They have pre-existing comorbidities, and of course it's our goal not only to treat them with hormones, but of course for clinical trials should their disease become resistant to current therapies. Interestingly, in going forward, these, uh, the development of clinical trials can be hampered by not really understanding the immune system. We know that Lupron does suppress certain cell populations. We don't know, however, exactly what the time course is. We don't know really how an antagonist works 
on the internal immune milieu within the prostate or in the bone marrow itself or peripheral blood. So really these three goals would be is a really amazing in terms of how we can finally get answers to these questions. So right now it uh, the Phase three pronounced trial is accruing very briskly, and we hope in the next several years at least to have an answer to uh, how do we help people with cardiovascular disease, and is a GnRH antagonist or agonist equal to, non-inferior, or is one really better than the other? So this is really exciting for all of us.